संडे इज थर्ड वीडियो फॉर यू ब्रेकिंग न्यूज इज फ्रॉम द यू इट सीम्स दैट पी एम आर बी इज इन द यूनाइटेड अरब एमरेट्स दो नो ऑफिशियल अनाउंसमेंट फ्रॉम इथियोपियन गवर्नमेंट और फ्रॉम द यू ए गवर्नमेंट बट वट वी हैव लर्न इज दैट ही कुड बी देयर ही अराइव देयर जस्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स अगो second new story is a very important one words a nail biting contest is underway in mogadishu somali capital where voting for presidential election is underway first round has been completed how many votes uh, farmajo managed to get what about uh, other candidates we have some details for you four candidates have made it to the second round and last new story is from tigray suddenly delivery of aid to tigray is increasing its speed is increasing uh, last night around 70 around 90 trucks uh, entered makale read a video on that now world of food program says the largest convoy is on its way the largest convoy since the announcement of truce more than a month ago is on its way it has departed samra it is moving towards uh, makale very positive development regarding Uh, humanitarian crisis in tigray will share a clip and details uh, shared by world food program ethiopia uh, regarding the situation firstly viewers uh, it seems that uh, a high level ethiopian official uh, who could be the prime minister is in the united arab emirates officially it has not not been announced so far while i'm recording this video no official announcement uh, by ethiopian government or the uae that some top uh, ethiopian leader has arrived in uh, the uae but uh, get john our friend who monitors uh, aviation related developments he has confirmed just a few minutes ago that a special plane carrying some high uh, level ethiopian uh, leader has landed in the united arab emirates and pm abi could be on board this plane uh, is used mostly by ethiopian pm abi so he is there it seems uh, in coming hours you could see pictures of pm abi from the uae what is he doing there obviously he is there to offer condolences uh, regarding the death of khalifa bin zaid uh, former president of the uae who was laid to rest yesterday secondly he is there to congratulate muhammad bin zaid his friend his ally who is now the new ruler of the united arab emirates uh, mohammed bin zaid supported pm rb in tigray a conflict he uh, provided ethiopian government with weapons with drones uh, several more dozens rather dozens of cargo flights were tracked between the uae and uh, Ethiopia the flights were carrying weapons it has now been confirmed several experts have confirmed that the united arab emirates provided drones uh, wing long drones to ethiopian government uh, these drones have been seen uh, stationed on harar maida uh, airport of ethiopia so no question about that uh, that uh, ue provided military support to ethiopian government pm rb is in the uae uh, to offer condolences and to congratulate uh, mohammed bin zaid the key visit in coming hours we'll share pictures as well uh, our sources are confirming that he is there though so far no announcement from uh, ethiopian and uae governments second new story is about a nail biting contest underway in 
Mogadishu, Somalia's capital, new Somalia's president uh, is being elected today at an airport hangar in Mogadishu uh, under uh, tight security, the African Union troops. Uh, uh, Somalia's police uh, has put in place, they have put in place uh, security arrangements, but we have heard about some mortars fired close to this venue. Overall situation is peaceful. First round of voting has come to an end. Uh, uh, results have been shared by election uh, monitoring committee. 328 MPs cast votes. There were 34 candidates, 5 withdrew, 34 were part of the race. 20 candidates did not get any vote. There was only one female candidate, Fozia Youssef. She got just one vote. Now, what about five main uh, contenders? Uh, Farmajo, incumbent, uh, Hassan Sheikh, Sharif Sheikh, Dini, and uh, fifth one is Hassan Ali Khaire, former Prime Minister of Ethiopia. Well, a dark horse is leading. Dini, former regional president of Portland State, is leading in the first round. No one could have uh, imagined before the start of this voting that uh, Dini would be leading uh, in the first phase. Now, uh, D Dini got 65 votes in the first round. Abdullah Farmajo got 59 votes. Runner-up. Hassan Sheikh, 52 votes. Hassan Ali Khaire, 47 votes. Sharif Sheikh, 39 votes. These are top five candidates uh, in terms of securing votes. Now, four uh, will make to the second round. The four are uh, Dini, 65 votes. Uh, Farmajo, 59. Hassan Sheikh, 52. And Hassan Ali Khaire, 47. So these four candidates have qualified for the second round. Now, four candidates are in the second round. No one is dropping out. All four have decided to run. Uh, Hassan Ali Khaire and Framajo, they are seen as allies. But both are running in the second round. And uh, Hassan Sheikh, uh, Dini, uh, they are also running in the second round. Uh, uh, Sharif Sheikh, who dropped out because uh, he was at number fifth, his vote, will uh, now go to Hassan Sheikh. His supporters will vote for Hassan Sheikh now. So, Farmajo is at uh, a disadvantage in the second round, it seems. But still, he is not out of the race. Dini is emerging as a dark horse, viewers. Uh, he uh, was regional president, but he's decided to run for the president of the country. Uh, he resigned, I think, uh, and he ran for the president of the country and now he is leading. Second round voting is about to start. We'll update you in the next video about second and perhaps third round of voting as well. A very close contest underway in Mogadishu these minutes. Third news story is about delivery of aid to Tigray. Suddenly, the speed of delivery of aid to Tigray is picking up. Yesterday, I reported about around 90 trucks which entered Makele, now the largest convoy so far since the announcement of truce more than a month ago, is on its way from Samra towards Makele. Uh, very encouraging developments. World Food Program just an hour ago shared some details with us. What is World Food Program saying? WFP says, firstly, that 85 trucks entered Makale last night. We said around 90, it was 85. So 85 trucks reached Makale last night. But the important thing is that the process is ongoing. Largest convoy uh, has departed Sambra. It is on its way towards uh, Makale. How many trucks are part of the largest convoy? 130 trucks are part of this large convoy which has left 
to Samra, it is on the move towards Tigray. So definitely viewers, now it is very much clear that uh, Ethiopian government is allowing Idlib to Tigray uh, in a free manner. That is why we are seeing these large convoys uh, pouring into Tigray, we can say that overall a very positive development because we know that uh, tens of thousands are in dire need of aid in Tigray. But uh, Afar and Amhara should not be neglected as well, especially Afar where uh, tens of thousands were displaced after TDF's military offensive uh, in the past two months. Afar should not be neglected. But a good news for the people of Tigray that uh, now aid is being allowed to enter Tigray, to move towards Tigray freely. No news of any attack on these convoys uh, in Afar so far. So Afar is helping. Uh, no Afar militia, no Afar government uh, forces uh, uh, have been involved in any attacks. The movement is all peaceful and speed is picking up as well. Watch this clip shared by WFP about delivery of aid to northern Ethiopia. Thanks for watching.